Hi, welcome to Fun Math. Today we're going to be talking about tossing a coin example. We talked about this example in the previous video. In this video, we will be talking about it in a little bit more detail. Here you can see someone tossing a coin. I have a coin here. You know that a coin has two sides. On one side we have heads and on the other side we have tails. So there are only two possibilities to get heads and tails. Let's find the probability of getting heads. It's one over two. How? How? So how many ways are there to get heads? There's one. There's two sides and there's only one head. So that's why there's one as our numerator. How is there two on the bottom as our denominator? How many possibilities are there? There are two possibilities. Heads and tails. That's why we have two as our denominator. What is the probability of getting tails? It's the same thing. One over two. How did we get one as our numerator? We got one as our numerator because there is one way of getting tails. One way of getting tails. There's no other way of getting tails. That's why we wrote one as our numerator. Why is there two as our denominator? There's two as our denominator because there is two, two sides. Heads and tails. That's why we wrote two as our denominator. If you see that they're the same, one over two here and one over two here. If you see these two are, we call them as equally likely events. So let's talk about the probability of an event. That's the formula. Let's talk about it. Probability of an event is nothing but just number of ways an event can occur. Occur over total number of possible outcomes. So we, we use this, the formula for tossing a coin. So let's talk about a little bit more about this. So we have one coin and let's say we toss it 10 times. What happens if 10 times and we get five heads and five tails? But that's not, that's not always true. There are more ways to get Heads and tails. What are the ways? You can say there are nine heads and one tail. And, or you can say six heads or four tails or ten tails and zero heads. And there are many other ways to find heads and tails. If one coin is tossed repeatedly, you will see approximately the same number of heads and tails. Let's say you tossed one coin one million times. That means you will see approximately the same number of heads and tails. There's a very important part you should know. Probability does not give you a perfect answer. It just tells you a likelihood of an event occurring. Let's review what we learned today. We learned about tossing a coin. Example, here we saw someone tossing a coin. And we also talked about heads or tails. And there are only two pop possibilities, heads and tails. And we also talked about the prob probability of getting heads 
and the probability of getting tails. And we got one over two. And since they were the same, we called them equally likely events. And we also talked about the formula, how to find the probability. And we talked about if you toss a coin many, many times, you will repeatedly, you will see approximately the same number of heads and tails. And we also talked about the very most important part you should know about is probability does not give you a perfect answer. It just tells you likelihood of an event occurring. I hope you learned something from this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.